Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We're starting off today here in a 23 person free for all battle here in North America. Thinking about going up in Quebec. Ah, the guy went there. Okay, that's fine. I'll stick with my southeast spot. I kind of like it. It's a good one. We have a little bit of an opening here. Now, that person over in the west is, you know, probably going to be our closest. Co oh, he actually came closer. Okay, <laughs> just signaling his hostilities right away. Me and this guy will probably be enemies. To the very end hopefully he's not very good because i'd love to be able to get around him and just start pushing into the center a little bit more but he's holding off on his troops so probably a little yeah i don't think so if he was not a, a good player he would have revealed it by now but i think with his expansion path we can count on him being an enemy to us which means we are going to get a little bit choked off over here now we do have that person up north who's a little bit weak hopefully that continues where we are able to exploit that and uh, that's the it for our growth phase. So let's just try and grab some bots and just really try and push out as much as we possibly can. Not really super worrying about troops in this moment as I typically would, it's just because Rustoff above us is rather weak and player 538 has so many bots to go for. He's not gonna worry about us at all. So let's just try and push out, trying to wait for these bots to expand, but just kind of missing a few of them. And unfortunately player 538 is really going for the bots that we are going after. He's trying to cut us off. So definitely a hostile player, that's for sure. We're not gonna have alliance with that guy at all, but let's go ahead and push for what we can down south here. Wait for that last spot, oh frick. It attacked right when it got more troops. So that's a little bit unfortunate. We can grab that bot. And now we can just head down here into Cuba, beats whoever's boating down here and keep going. Now I could boat over to the Russian empire, but that puts me really in the middle and I don't wanna do that. So I think I'm gonna be satisfied with Cuba and the uh, Dominica Island, Island of Dominica. Oh, that's a good opportunity. Gotta push into that. Let's start knocking this guy down. Start going for his land. And I think we just continue to keep pushing for this. I mean, obviously we wanna finish up things down here. I think we're fine in terms of troops. Now the crown is right above us. That's not spectacular, but if we can try and get alliance with him and alliance with you, I guess too. But the reality of those two, or the likelihood of those two attacking me is rather high. So we'll just clean up, hang out here, wait for something to develop. Player 538 wanted the alliance with me so he could push it through the Nur Empire. That's not great for me either. He's gonna get really big. And here's the thing, if I attacked him, you would come and fight me, wouldn't you? I could, in theory, wait for that fight to be over. But then I worry about strengthening the AZE play. I'm just really in a bad spot. There's no way about it. If someone big comes over to fight to borders the crown, I could have I could fight him. But I think for now we're kind of stuck. We are not close to our red interest. We're in eighth place, so all is not lost, but man, things are not looking good for us. I could get an alliance for those two, but yeah, I don't think play taking out five player five three eight is really the solution here. I'll just kind of wait here. Build up troops. I'm just trying to look at the board and see who could possibly help me fight. You tell me to fight him? Okay, we'll charge, brother. Oh, no, you are fighting him. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> this is a good opportunity for me. As long as we don't eat the full scent on this uh, crown, we should be in a good spot. Do need other people to join it other than player 538, because again, he's going to really try and cut me off as much as he can. So we'll push again. I'm trying to get better positioning on the red player while also not taking the full scent would be ideal. Now, 30 Roos has also joined in. And we're at red interest, so I think at this point he's too weak to full send. So let's just really push for this now. Just keep this up as long as we possibly can. Oh, missed him. He attacked me and I missed a little bit. So we'll lose a little bit of land, not a lot at the end of the day, but hey, we're back in this. We're at fifth place now. Player 538 is the crown. It's gonna be a hard battle to convince him not to attack me. In fact, I might just launch an attack on him. 30 Roos is attacking him. Let's go ahead and hit him right now. And is anyone else gonna join in? AZE? He's asking for an alliance. I don't really want an alliance with you. I'm trapped behind you, ultimately. So we're just gonna keep hitting them. 30 Roos is helping us. Again, great opportunity for us. Actually, we got the crown. Let's try and get an alliance with 30 Roos. He seems to be on the same wavelength as us. So I'm gonna boat down here and just try and avoid borders with AZE for as long as possible. Just keep grabbing land and hopefully Roos is is he attacking? Oh, frick. He has borders on me. I did not see that. That's a little bit unfortunate that we have borders on you because uh, I cannot afford for you to be here. Let's just keep knocking you down. Nope, didn't get him out. 
it's just such a short crossing it's gonna be really impossible this is probably our downfall right here 30 roots is also involved that's not very good we gotta prioritize that we have a shot at cutting him off through player 538's attacks if we can push him back through this chokehold so need to focus on that india full sent on roos i think roos just full sent on me that's unfortunate but hey not at least we have that closed off and now we can just keep voting down south just keep grabbing this little bit of land i don't think player 538 is long for this world he is attacking us the monster i'm gonna keep voting though is it really the only thing we could do in this position we could try voting up through greenland but i don't really like that plan so we're just gonna keep up with our boats over here and see if anyone else if we can inspire anyone else to join in because i think our only path out of here is through player 538 and i imagine that ez would join in on this at some point this is a lot of land that he would directly benefit from he's trying to ally, ally me but i'm just going to keep grabbing land over here he votes back oh i couldn't get my boat off in time that's a little bit unfortunate get over here oh az he's gotten very big um hey <laughs> buddy we should i don't know if i could be able to convince this guy not to fight if we keep fighting he's gonna full send us 100 percent uh, alliance friend he accepts friendship okay let's think about this there's a lot of people to fight aze the kz guy above definitely is big he's gonna worry about manny i would like to get into the fight but i don't want to i would like for your player 538 to full send let's get these boats out of the way i would like player 538 to full send oh he's attacking me that is unfortunate I was really banking on the fact that player 538 would full send and I would grab a little bit of extra land and then be at better borders with AZE. Well, that plan's gone out the window with AZE directly attacking me. So now we need to really lay the hammer in on him, at least get this border closed again. Rather unfortunate that we are just getting absolutely blitzed right now. This is not a good sign for us. We are just, this is a very bad situation. Shield, I, I know, I know. I could vote. No, I don't think that'd do a lot at this point brother uh charge maybe we can inspire some people say charge uh charge brother like somebody let's start launching an attack he's fighting player five through eight so until we get attacked again we're going to keep attacking ourselves i think that's our best play right now but to say we are out of it is kind of an understatement we're the second to last player right now and it's not looking good especially as kz up north is not attacking but we do have enough troops with player 538 and player 41 who are attacking so we can count that as a blessing we just got to keep pushing it's our only real chance of any kind of hope at this point we're we're really not in a great spot to win this game player 538 is also as weak as us though so we at least got that going for us so we don't have to necessarily worry about him being a big threat to us we do need to slightly worry about him full sending because oh player lang zhang has full sent it's a little bit surprising that was strength in player 41 who's now the crown tabris with a very big attack that was too much oh brother that was too much if he had held on for a second i think it would have been fine but now everyone's everyone's out for blood we push for this we have more troops than he does and he pulls it against player 41 we're almost at 60,000 pixels that's our first speed boost we got to get there there we go we're back in it we're in third place try and get an alliance with you absolutely player 41 is very weak Ooh, i don't want to attack him here's the reasoning why he's got low troops he's more likely to full send we wait this out we wait this out no need to jump on anything right now we're fine we're fine let's build up troops wait for that full send it's gonna be coming soon one would expect okay kz's attacking we got to go into this guy kz attacked manny we got to push into the crown that's our only chance of overcoming this we got to really push for this because it, uh, the land's not going to be there. He full sent on player 538. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get the crown out of this. We're definitely not going to have the troops to hold it. We, we do have a lot of troops deployed, but that guy's got 16 million. And now we try and hold. I don't think we have enough troops here. We're very weak. We're well, actually, never mind. We're fine. He prioritized boating instead. Oh, we're fine. I think, I think we're good. We're a couple million down. Now player 538 signaling he wants third. KZ signaling for peace. Okay. I'm down. GG's. I got the crown. But you're not voting for peace is the thing. 
I think he's trying to peace tonight me. I'm not gonna get fooled by that, brother. No siree. Let's uh launch a little attack here. This is dangerous because 538 might attack us, and that would be enough to take us down. So we really need to get some pushes in against KZ to really whittle that down. I'm what I'm ready to vote for peace, but you're not voting for peace. I'm going to keep knocking you down. Get my advantage as much as possible. Now, in this situation, when player 538 attacks me, I keep on KZ. Player 538, I don't think has enough troops for this. So we're just going to keep charging in, keep weakening up this player. Get our advantage as much as possible. And I think at this point, yeah, we have enough troops. We are only at 20,000 pixels, but we do have a lot more troops than he does. So we can definitely push this through. So, yeah, we're 6 million more troops than he, he is. He's going to start blunting our attacks, but it's a race to the bottom. We have more troops than he does, so we're fine on this front. Let's just keep pushing against him. He's down to 16. We're at 23. We're in a good spot right now. Oh, player 5-3 is actually attacking in the north. I didn't realize he had some of Greenland. Okay, so he's... This is the sh most shocking turn of events I've ever experienced in a video game, is that me and player 5-3-8, mortal enemies at the beginning of the game, actually became good friends. <laughs> so we'll whittle down KZ, who full sends us there, and walk away with a new friend holy cow that was very surprising i did not expect that you can have greenland my friend you earned it i won't vote over there that's for you but uh i think that will do it let's clear out over here a very shocking turn of events we were out of it out of it but gg's to all involved we'll call for the peace here and go for the peace and go on to the next game our next game up is going to be a 17 person teams battle here we have a couple of people on the yellow team no kogi boys with us today which is fine we're gonna go up north doesn't seem like anybody put down a marker up here which is great in fact not a lot of people have put down markers in general i see three red one black now start people are starting to kind of wake up one white over there that's our close competitor as long as this, as well as this player on the red so let's see what we can do i mean if nobody random spawned on us we should have a pretty good start and in fact yes that is the case so we are separated from our teammates, though. I don't really see any of them up here, which is a little bit of a shame. So it might be a solo game for us unless they do well elsewhere, in which case, hey, we can maybe support each other and link up. I see one down there, and that's it. A little bit concerning, but we're in our infinite growth phase. So let's go ahead and just start that and see how big we can get. Doing fine so far, but we're running into, yep, a little bit. It's hard to keep it up during the, uh, the last little bits. We're fine there. Okay, good. So that should carry us all the way through. Let's start getting ready. Just finish that up one more time. And start pushing out into some of these uh, bots. I don't touch that bot. Okay. So we're in a decent spot. We have the crown right away. And again, nobody around us. Now, the only thing that I'm worried about is some of our bots are winning their fights. And you don't really want your color team bots to win the fights because that means it's land you can't get that then just sits there until somebody else on another team comes up and snipes it all. But I do want to push over to Mr. Hawk Tua over here and block him from as much land as I can get. And now we need to get around our bots over here. You see what I'm talking about with the bots? It's kind of in our way at this point. Not really super helping us. But we are able to get around. That's good. There's a bot up there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we're just going to keep pushing for the time being. We have a decent amount of troops. Doesn't look like there's a real strong chance of people going against us in this moment. So we just keep pushing for bots and land. And wait for one of these big bots to fall. There we go. That's what we needed. Grab this bot over here as well. Now it becomes how much do we want to push out versus do we want borders with the Scion team? And honestly, I think for right now, I do. It's a lot of land to not take. Talk to just full sent me. Ouch. Well, nobody else has reacted to it. Purple's over there now. And uh, we'll see if we can get back to this at any point. But that's a big boat full send. There we go. We're basically going to get just the land that we already had. So let's push against these last couple bots down here. We finish you off, brother. You're just going to full send me again if we let you stay. So we're a little bit short on troops after that full send. Not necessarily the best. We've lost our teammate down south. The Scion team only has us to push against. So things aren't looking the best for us right now. We also have a large pressure with the purple team over in the east and uh without a teammate on board this is gonna be a little bit of a rough one here as we somehow have to make sure the drama doesn't fixate on us but we are the crown so the chances of that happening are very small and slim but we are pretty far and away in first place we have 83,000. 
red's boating down south i think it's to get to that bot i thought about getting down there myself but that really opens me up to the black team and at that point everyone's on me and i'm a little bit scared of that so i don't really want that scenario to play out for me i kind of want to fight russia but with purple fighting me i'm not a big fan i'm going to keep slowing this down i'm not going to charge him by any means in fact maybe we do oh black's in yeah let's go let's give him a knockdown just a little bit so we separate oh big send big full send that's a huge opportunity for us red doesn't see it because he's so fit focused boating down there we're at 60,000 pixels so we're moving rather fast he finally sees it he's trying to ask for an alliance actually i would love an alliance with you if you would block for me let's go ahead and grab that as well because we're pretty close to our red interest mark and it this keeps the black team away i could potentially fight the russian guy you are in second place though don't like that don't like that yep scion's even here too they, he doesn't like it i like the idea of knocking this guy down right away because we don't really need him down all the way we just need him to the point he's not a threat and now i think we just switch targets and push into a weakened red player who can give us a lot of land so basically what we're trying to accomplish here is avoiding borders with this scary lad but it doesn't look like that's going to be a real option so at the same time if we can't do that we want to avoid this guy so at least one player on the black team we want to avoid and now we can go for all the land i think we push into this guy right away there's the full send on us rather unfortunate we'll grab all the land see if we have a little bit of time to hold out to red interest we can get there grab this little bit extra land we're going to need it and this island over here and we are pretty close to red interest so we're going to fight the stronger of the two and i'm just going to boat down right away with a little boat and we're gonna have to fight this heavy fight right now right here right now he's sending a boat to us but it doesn't matter we sent a boat to him and now we'll just give him a big hit we're at 55 percent, so things are looking pretty good for us a solo <laughs> victory on the horizon here Black's gonna have to do something really heroic or watch me fall miserably, but with 58%, the chances of that happening are very low and lowering by the second. So I think we played that the best we could. It was a little bit unfortunate that the double full send hit us pretty close together, but we did really benefit from the purple player full sending. So, but then the white player kind of full sent us too. So that was three full sends in a row for us. A little bit unfortunate, but the purple one was the one that mattered the most. If he had stuck around in the game, that would have been really bad for us. So we could be thankful for this player right here attacking up north and taking that pulse in for us because that was uh rather splendid and now we can just kind of collapse on this guy and finish him up so that will do it for today we'll just uh go ahead and say hey we're gonna peace out with everybody else you can stay brother and uh I'll call for the peace here boom give a little kissy face for the boys excuse me kissy face for the boys and as we do start to wrap things up i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching especially made this fun the video if yeah i made this fun the video hey give a thumbs up really helps out a lot if you're new around here subscribe for more i put up videos every day but boys i will see you in the next one